you with the same chapter and a new topic. Components of food, part two. So in this module, we are going to complete balanced diet, loss of nutrients from food items, obesity, and deficiency diseases. Yes, introduction of this chapter. Is there any food item which contains all the nutrients? If uh, a food item is there like that, then what we, are, what we can call that food item? Then what will happen if we consume one nutrient in more quantity? Then is it good for our health to avoid any of these nutrients? So first we will start with the most important topic of the day that is balanced diet. Here you can see a picture. In this picture, 25% of the picture contains fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables contain a lot of vitamins and minerals. 25% is proteins. Proteins help in growth and development of the body. And other 25% it is whole grains which contains carbohydrates and provides us energy and uh, fibers which helps to eliminate waste, waste material from our body. So, are you having all this in your diet? If you are having all this in your diet, then you can tell that I am having balanced diet. So, balanced diet is a diet which includes all the nutrients in adequate quantity including roughages and water. If you are having such a diet, then you can tell, yes, I am having balanced diet. Now let us learn about loss of nutrients from food items. How does nutrients loss from food items? The first way is you all know, before cooking, before making boiled rice, we will wash the rice repeatedly. When we are washing the rice repeatedly, what will happen? Most of the nutrients which is present in it will be lost. So we can wash it, but don't wash it uh, four or five times. But at the same time, you should understand or remember one thing, fruits and vegetables we have to wash. It is because it contains a lot of chemicals and if you are eating it without washing, then what, what will happen? These chemicals will enter into our body and it can cause different health issues to us. The second way of loss of nutrients from our food items is peeling of fruits and vegetables. The peels of fruits and vegetables contains a lot of nutrients, a lot of vitamins and minerals. When we are peeling it off, what happens? These vitamins and minerals will be lost. So, without peeling, if you can have these, uh, these uh, fruits and vegetables, it will be good. All the nutrients will remain in it and it will reach in your body. The next is, you have learned that heating kills vitamin C. When we are heating, vitamin C will be lost. But you can see, this is a common process in most of the Kerala houses. That is, people when they are making pickles from lemon, they used to heat lemon. When they are heating lemon, when they are steaming lemon, vitamin C will be lost from that. So, uh, we should not heat uh, food items which contain vitamin C, as vitamin C will, be, will get lost from that. Next, another way of uh, loss of uh, nutrients from food items. That is overcooking. When we are overcooking food items, that time also some of the nutrients will be lost. So at the beginning of this, this module, I have told you that there is a condition in our body that is known as obesity. I, I, I didn't tell you the term obesity. But when we are having a lot of a single nutrient or a one nutrient in large quantity, then it will result in a condition. That condition is known as obesity. So you can see that condition here. This boy is eating a lot of chips. It contains too much of fat. So when he is eating too much of fat rich food, it will result in a condition that is known as obesity. So too much of fat rich food, if you are having too much of fat rich food, the fat will get deposited in our body and it will finally result in obesity. Wow, here we can see a boy. He is asking us, am I a healthy boy? 
But I am not going to answer this question, children. It's your turn now. You have to answer whether. Wow! Here you can see a ball. He is asking a question to us. That is, am I a healthy ball? So you can you can say whether this boy is healthy or not. I'm I'm not going to answer this question because it's your turn. I think this boy is too smart. But uh, is he healthy? That let us see. Now let us learn about deficiency diseases. Let's see another boy. He is too worried, and he is telling us that not enough of these. Not enough of what? Oh, not enough of all these nutrients, which will result in a condition known as deficiency diseases. That means lack of nutrients in our diet for a long time. If we do not have a nutrient in our diet for long period of time, it will result in a condition, and that is known as deficiency disease. That is the diseases which are caused due to the lack of nutrients over a long period of time. That is known as deficiency diseases. So now we are going to learn about different deficiency diseases. And let us see the results of protein deficiency in our body. If a uh, protein deficiency is th there. it may result in stunted growth swelling of face discoloration of hair skin disease and diarrhea you can see from his uh, from this picture swelling of face and discoloration of hair okay let's see what will happen if both protein and carbohydrate is deficient for long time both carbohydrate and protein the growth may stop completely that means that particular child will not grow and he becomes he or she becomes very lean and thin then he, he or she becomes so weak that may not be able to move we can you can see a boy of such condition here now let us see an a vitamin deficient vitamin deficiency diseases that is vitamin a what are the symptoms of vitamin a deficiency disease it is known as loss of vision night blindness that is the symptoms are poor vision that means we cannot see well the next is loss of vision in darkness and last one last one is sometimes complete loss of vision also will be there the main symptom is uh, night blind the main disease is night blindness that the person cannot see at night then vitamin b deficiency disease the disease is known as beriberi and the symptoms are weak muscles and very little energy to work here you can see the picture the muscles become very weak and he will not have any energy to do work then vitamin c the deficiency disease is known as scurry and the symptoms are bleeding gums here you can see bleeding in gums and the next to next symptom is wounds take longer time to heal if there is a small injury in his or her body it won't be heal very fast it will take some time to heal it will take a longer time to heal next is vitamin d the deficiency disease is known as rickets and the symptoms are bones become soft and wet here you can see in this picture the bones are very soft so it became wet next we are going to learn about mineral, uh, mineral deficiency diseases the first mineral that we are deficiency that we are going to learn about is calcium deficiency if calcium deficiency is there then lot of uh, um, symptoms are there that is we will be having rough skin insomnia tooth decay head sweating brittle nails and muscle cramps then that you can see here muscle cramps then another symptoms are bone and tooth decay weak bones and tooth decay these are the symptoms of calcium deficiency then let us see the symptoms of iron deficiency iron deficiency disease is known as anemia and you, you can see what what is anemia actually anemia is in a normal person's uh, body you can see too much of blood cells will be red blood cells will be there because for the production of red blood cells iron is needed and if if he is a he or she is a healthy person so enough quantity of iron will be there and that will produce red blood cells in his body in large quantity and if deficiency of iron is there 
then the production of red blood cells will be very less that means enough oxygen will not reach in each and every part of his body and it may result in a condition it is known as anemia and the symptom and the, the main symptom of this disease is weakness next is iodine deficiency disease the iodine deficiency disease is goiter and the symptoms you can see this is this one is the symptom swollen neck glands in the neck appear swollen and if it is in children you can see their mental disability in children will be the result of iodine deficiency then now let's answer certain questions deficiency of which vitamin causes berry bud you all know the answer it is vitamin b then state the symptoms of protein deficiency stunted growth discoloration of hair swelling of face then which disease has the symptom of swollen neck it is goiter iodine deficiency disease you can select answer from this one then the vitamin needed for good eyesight three options are given vitamin b vitamin a and vitamin c vitamin a is the right answer last question explain the importance of balanced diet for an adolescent child adolescent period is the growing period of children at that time children need more proteins and carbohydrates proteins are needed for growth and development and carbohydrates are needed for uh, getting energy so children of adolescent age group should get balanced diet now uh, there is uh, two assignments for you from this topic also first one prepare a list of your favorite food items and to the nutrients present in them so you have to note it in your science activity book after doing this uh, project or uh, doing this assignment you can understand some of your favorite food items may not have any nutrients in it so what to do give up that food items the second one is prepare a list of children having malnutrition in your locality and frame an action plan to help them if there is nobody there is no child like that then it's good and if somebody is there it's our duty to help them so you have to frame an action plan to help them and work accordingly and finally i'm inviting your attention to a photograph here and i don't want to tell too much of this photograph never fill the stomach of a dustbin because angels are wandering with empty stomach don't want to tell more about all these things because it's your turn your chance and you can think over this topic and you can act accordingly thank you children thank you very much